2011 has already been a fantastic year for supercars. We've had the new McLaren, and now we've got this, the new Lamborghini Aventador. And this is one I've really been waiting for. 700 horsepower, 6.5 litre, normally aspirated engine. It looks fantastic, it's a proper Lamborghini. It's poster quality looks. And under the skin, it's all carbon fibre, lighter than the previous generation, brand new engine. We're at Vallelunga in Rome, in Italy, and we've got it all day. I've got the key. Let's go and find out what it's like. Right, so our time to get on track with Vanalunga. Uh, starting procedure. Get in, it's keyless go, so the key's somewhere hidden away in a glove compartment. Press the start. Typical Lamborghini, far too many revs, but then it calms down. Um, scissor doors, slightly different design on these. <clears throat> just to make um, them able to make the doors frameless so they go out a bit more, a bit like Aston doors. After that, electric handbrake and we're away. Starts off in automatic, which I'm told is to, uh, so it complies with the CO2 rules in Europe. Um, but press this little button down here and we have manual. They're telling me it's taken about four years to get this car from clean sheet and it's a true clean sheet and that's why it feels so different to other Lamborghinis. There is nothing this car shares with an older model. Gearbox, engine, chassis, monocoque, carbon fibre, absolutely brand new. It's three settings, Strada, Sport and Corsa. Strada is what it says for road driving. Very gentle, keeps the noise down a bit not as violent on the gear change and a bit more assistance on the steering. Um, really nice setting but I think everybody will go straight to sport setting on it. When we're in sport, quicker on the gear change and the difference on the handling is instead of having understeer they say power oversteer in this format. I have to say in the dry conditions, hot conditions at Vallelunga it doesn't exactly understeer at will does make a glorious noise. Just a bit looser when you're turning in. Do notice it. And then we'll try Corsa. And what Corsa does, well it feels like a gear change breaker. Oh, incredibly violent gear change. You're going to set a lap time. Corsa is how you do it. The power oversteer, play power oversteer is gone. This is all about ultimate lap time. Oh. I spent the morning in the new Aventador and it's a very different sort of Lamborghini and I'm with uh, Maurizio Reggiani who's technical director of Lamborghini and he's just going to take me around some of the technical highlights because there's quite a few on this car. We have aluminium doors, we have front fender in aluminium and also the front bonnet is in aluminium. We have a rear fender in a SMC, means a plastic oh, right. material. We use uh, RTM for the engine bonnet and for the air vents and also for the spoiler and for rear and uh, front bumper we use Biflex that is a plastic that can absorb energy. Push rod suspension, I've only really seen this on, dare I say it, on Ferrari Enzo, on a Pagani or something like that, but this is productionized. This, and why have you gone for this push rod suspension? Push rod because uh, is uh, something that is uh, necessary in order to guarantee the perfect travel of the wheel in every condition and to be able to reduce dramatically the unspring mass of the wheel and the tyre and to guarantee to have a precise uh, movement of every component with the right stiffness. From 0 to 100 you have an average of 1G because uh, if you made a calculation right. from 0 to 100 is 2.95 seconds but if you see the instantaneous acceleration you have after the first meter you have 1.6G and this is something where you have your body that yeah. is really that's very on quick, isn't it? 1.6G? Yeah, but uh, you can imagine with a four-wheel drive system that is able to react so fast in every condition you have really like it. Well, thanks, Maurizio. We'll go out and do some more driving. I could play all day out here. Carbon brakes seem to cope really well. Usual grumbles, but always there. And it's the epic power and this handling. A lot of it to do with the um, just the lowest C of G compared to the SV. Really notice it round here. It's a Lamborghini, a V12 Lamborghini track car. So you have to be flat out for the gear change to actually ram in at 50 milliseconds. But it's worth it for the effect. Just, just drift 
often just go, it's beautiful to play around. Whoa! It's been an epic day. We've been on track all day at Vallelunga in the new Lamborghini Aventador. Last thing I was expecting at the beginning of the day, Lamborghini V12s and tracks just don't mix. But this one does. This is a game changer for Lamborghini. Brilliant balance, brilliant handling, and you can use all that 700 horsepower on track. It's a complete shock. Great brake feel, has everything going for it. And they told me at lunchtime, the one thing they had to deliver, VW instruction, was the best super sports car in the world. Well, this has got the looks, it's got the performance, and blow me, it's got the handling. And I think they're in the running. I think this could well be the best super sports car in the world right now. Yeah.